Hi there, it's Sam from hoodlestock.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is an envelope punch board project. It is a little box that pops out inside a flower. It's not really a flower, obviously, um, but it just kind of looked, at it, looked like it when I was fiddling around and playing and making prototypes. So I'm going to show you how to make it. This one is watercolour wonder with, I can't remember what colour, um, wild wasabi in here. I'm going to use the watercolour wonder paper but a slightly different one and I'm going to make the box first. So you need your envelope punch board, you need a piece of cardstock that measures 6 by 6 or 15.2 by 15.2 so four of these from a sheet of 12 by 12 and your first score line is at one and seven eighths of an inch which is 4.8 centimetres. You put it in there, punch and score and then you slide it to four and one eighth of an inch which is 10.5 centimetres and now you turn it round and these lines I've already scored you line them up to this little chappy here which is called a score guide and then you punch and score and you just keep doing that all the way round all the way round on all of the sides and cardstock is you have to push a little bit harder or maybe a little bit faster um, to get the, the little groove there's the last one, and then round the corners, do all of those four, and then obviously because we've got the punch board here in front of us, we'll do the top. Now, to do the top, you want to turn it so that the, the pattern that you want to show here, you have facing down, because you have to fold with the score lines that you've created. So we're going to turn it, because it's this side that I want to have showing up. So, piece of six by six, so exactly the same size, four of these from one sheet, and this time you line it up to the two inch mark, punch and score, which is, sorry, five centimetres, slide it up to the four inch mark, which is 10.2, but you only punch, don't score. Turn it around, back in at the two inch mark, the five centimetre, punch and score, slide up to the four, the 10.2, and just punch and keep doing that all the way around so it's two punch score four punch which is five punch score 10.2 punch so just keep doing that all the way around and then last one and you are then left with that shape there can you see that if I tip that you can see it so you've got a square in the middle and then you've got these cross marks here and that's how we get the florally bit so we're going to round off the corners okay and I'm going to fold the score line so this one I'm just going to fold and burnish with my fingers I'll to pull my sleeves up because they're getting in the way I didn't want a very crisp finish to the outside, the flowery part. So just burnishing with your fingers is going to, is, you know, it's not going to be very rigid sided, which is good. And this one, obviously, we do want to burnish because it's cardstock. So fold on all your score lines, burnish them well. And somebody asked me in a video that I did a couple of days ago or the, rather they put in the comments section they asked which of my two bone folders was the, the heavier this was the original non-branded one which is quite light this is a stamping up one I only use stamping up stuff because obviously this is what I sell um, so the heavier one is the stamping up one this one rubbish and I use it for refilling my ink pads so this is the one it's a stamping up one you can get it through me in the UK or various other places abroad okay so come into the box, obviously it's symmetrical all the way around and you will often hear me saying, you know, cut either side of the wider triangle or the smaller one. There's no wider or smaller triangle, so pick one at random and cut either side of it. Doesn't matter. So you cut either side of that and then turn it so you've got the mirror image here and cut those. And then for the, for the flowery part, Turn it over so you can see the score lines. Exactly the same. Pick a triangle at random and cut either side of it. There's one. And then again the mirror image. So it is exactly the same. 
And what I want to do now is get this curl going. So it literally is, you just grab your bone folder, find one of these upper parts, let me tip this so you can see it, just the upper part and curl. So, and that's what's created that shape. And just do it all the way round. That'll be my phone. <sighs> I've had to restart filming this video so many times. My husband keeps texting me. Daft little messages he's at work today. And then he's rung me. And then the doorbell went. Marvellous. Okay. Just going to grab Snail. Snail is fine for paper to paper. And for paper to cardstock when it's on a flat project, if you're going to do cardstock to cardstock like this, you need something stronger like sticky strip or, or um, Tombow multi-purpose liquid glue. Couldn't think what it was called then. But just for speed, I'm going to go with snail. So if you turn it over and you've got these sort of triangular shapes, this is where you want to put your adhesive. Fold up these parts. And obviously, this is when you put your goodies inside, you put your sweeties, your treats, your bit of jewellery, whatever it is you've got going inside. If you want to make it a permanent close, do stick some glue on. I'm not going to. And I'm just going to tie it with some ribbon. I use the um, Daffodil Delight seam binding ribbon. I'm just using the Whisper White Taffeta this time round. And I'm just going to come round once to tie the bow. I'm going to try and tie a bow. Okay, who's placing bets on whether I can tie a bow today? I can't even tie. I can't even wrap it round the box. Oh my goodness! Somebody please pay to send me on a course to tie bows. Right. Either that, or if anybody does training courses, please let me know. I will be your first attendee. Let's try this. Try and tie this bow. Okay. Can't even pick the ribbon up. Could have been worse. Could have been considerably worse. That's not bad. Not brilliant, but it's not bad. Right, then <laughs> this part here. Again, turn it over so you've got the back facing up to you. Adhesive in these parts. Fold it round and close. I hope that wasn't off camera then. And then you've got this pretty floral bit. Pop your box inside, which fits perfectly because I designed it like that. And it doesn't pop higher, it doesn't pop lower. It's just perfect. And job done in eight minutes with an awful lot of waffle going on inside. I really hope you like it. I do love my envelope punch board. And I hope you enjoy using yours too. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.